G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now, who loves science? That's good, I do too, and that's why today we've come along to a place called Science Space, and we're gonna go inside and meet a science expert that's gonna take us through a super cool experiment. Now, I cannot wait to get inside and check it all out. So come on kids, let's get stuck in. Just before we get started on today's episode, kids, let me just remind you about our merch items available on our website, like our mini Aussie hat made just for kids' heads. One of my favorites, Aussie socks, with a nice little message reminding you to always stay keen. You can get yourself a sweatband, just like Aussie's, but even cooler, with Aussie's logo. Or a mini replica Aussie tee made just for you kids. Or, brand new to our website, is our personalised video message made just for you from Aussie. Right now, available on our website, aussieforkids.com. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Kids, in here is where all the fun happens. So this is where the science experiments are gonna take place. We're gonna go inside and meet a scientist called Robbie. He's gonna show us so much cool stuff. So come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, look at this place. G'day, Robbie. Hey, Ozzy. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for having us here today. Oh, no worries. It's a pleasure to have you. Thanks. Check out some liquid nitrogen. Oh, wow. So, always important, safety first. Of course. And liquid nitrogen is super cold. It's negative 196 degrees. So I'm gonna stick on my safety glasses and my safety gloves to help protect me. Yes, absolutely. Well, we don't wanna get that uh, liquid nitrogen in our eyes or on our skin, right? We absolutely don't. That okay, wouldn't be so very fun at all. Maybe I'll just take a little step back, shall I? Absolutely. It shouldn't splash very far, though. You should be safe. Okay, good. So we have our liquid nitrogen, very cold. Oh yeah. Outside, nice and insulated, so it's not too bad. And if we pour some out on the ground. Oh wow. We won't touch this spot here, because that'll be very cold. Yeah, okay, wow, so that's, that looks really cool. Yeah, so it's so cold, it's evaporating as soon as it hits the ground. Right, so that's what that uh, smoke-like looking stuff is. Yeah, well actually, that smoke-like looking stuff it's exactly what it looks like. It's clouds. It's clouds? Yeah. Wow, so, so that's exactly what is floating around up in the sky? Absolutely. So there's always water in the air as a gas. Right. And then when we cool the air down, it all collects together, it groups up, and it forms into a cloud. So that's what clouds are. Yeah. Nitrogen, liquid nitrogen. Well, clouds are, anytime you cool the air down, you're gonna get a cloud. Right. So if the air's going up, it's gonna cool down, it's gonna turn into a cloud. Right, okay, I'm with you. Absolutely. All right. So and what's now, next for this experiment? Well. We saw it evaporating, turning into a gas, and one thing we love to fill up with gas is balloons. So we're gonna see if we can pop a balloon with our liquid nitrogen. Oh, great. Now this is gonna be cool, kids. I'm super excited. Oh, this one's so cool. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna stick some liquid nitrogen in our bottle here, help us catch it. Okay, so it's not evaporating uh, inside the bottle, is that right? Or it's just doing it a little bit slower? It is doing it a bit slower, because okay. we have a nice big group of it. Okay. So it's all staying a bit colder. Okay. And we're gonna stick our balloon on top to catch all that nitrogen gas that's evaporating. All oh, right, so it's not the liquid that's gonna go into the balloon, it's actually the gas. Yeah, so we're gonna make that liquid nitrogen in the bottom, we're gonna make it evaporate, turn into a gas, and it's gonna fill up our balloon here. Wow. So I'm gonna stick on my earmuffs. Okay. If you could block your I'm ears on I'm going to stick me. my earmuffs on too. Because this one's extra loud. What? So there goes our balloon. We'll just pour out the rest of this liquid nitrogen. That 
is amazing. That is super cool. And look what it's done to that balloon. Our balloon is completely shredded. That is super cool, Robbie. That balloon has just been absolutely shredded. It has. That's crazy. So you put the bottle inside, that's just water there? Just regular water. Yeah, and what is that doing to the process? How is that uh, making that balloon blow up quicker? Because that's what it looked like it was happening. Yeah, so we saw our liquid nitrogen was evaporating super slowly. So if I stick it in there, that just helps our liquid nitrogen evaporate even quicker. Right. And so that's gonna help fill up our balloon even faster. Why was it so loud? Well, we know that this isn't what a balloon usually looks like yeah. when it pops. Usually when you pop a balloon, one spot splits and the whole thing tears around from there. Yes. So we know that sounds vibrations. Yeah. And so only one spot on the balloon is usually making vibrations. But this one, completely shredded. Okay. So we have a bunch of spots tearing all at once. Right. So it's like a bunch of balloons popping all at the same time. Okay. So it's extra loud. So lots and lots of noise happening all at once because it's popping in all those different places. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. Robbie, you've got another experiment that you're going to show me now, is that correct? I sure do. Using liquid nitrogen again? Using liquid nitrogen again and another balloon. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick our liquid nitrogen in there. Okay. And we're going to grab a nice pair of tongs because we're going to be pouring some liquid nitrogen over the top of this balloon. Very cool. And we don't want to be touching it with our hands when yep. it's super cold. You freeze your fingers, right? Absolutely. Yep. So we're going to stick these gloves back on and we're going to grab our liquid nitrogen. Okay. And we're going to see what happens to our balloon when we pour some liquid nitrogen on it. I can't wait. Well, you don't have to. Oh, no way! What's happening to it? It's, it's shrinking. It's incredible. It sounds like it's turning into paper. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not popping, it's shrinking. It is, it's shrinking down, getting nice and small. And it's, is that becoming hard, like plastic? Yeah, so when we cool down our rubber, it's gonna become a lot more brittle. It's not gonna to wanna to move around as much and as easily as it used to. So our balloon's just gonna crinkle up nice and small like this. That's very cool. And then if we take it out of our liquid nitrogen, we let it heat up. Maybe we can help speed up the process. Ozzy, if you wanna blow on it for me. What? I'm blowing up a balloon from the outside. From the outside. That is absolutely mind-blowing. It's very cool. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that, Robbie. Well, I'm glad I could blow your mind a little bit. Yeah, you certainly will. You've blown up a balloon and you've blown my mind and the kids at home, I've no doubt. Now, is that cold? Excellent. Can I touch it or? You can touch it. Rubber's not a very good conductor, so we can touch cold rubber. Yeah, so that just feels like a normal balloon again. Yeah. That so when we... is incredible. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm absolutely blown away, to be honest. So if I put that back in there and we pour more liquid nitrogen on it, it will just do the same thing again, shrink again. It'll shrink down and then it'll blow up again when we pull it out. Let's try it. Do you want to pop it back in there? All right, I'll let let's you see. use your tongs. I like my fingers as they are. <laughs> Unbelievable. So that is the exact same balloon that's been blown up, shrunk down, blown up, and shrunk down again. And we're about to blow it up again. And we're gonna blow it up again. It's had quite the journey, this balloon. It, it's, it's had quite the journey in the last couple of minutes. All right, there's our shrunken balloon. I'm gonna blow it up from the outside again, Robbie. What do you reckon? All right, give it a nice big blow. That just simply is one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. Well, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, that's really cool. Kids, did you love that? That is pretty cool, isn't it? What else can you freeze using liquid nitrogen? Well, we can freeze some living things. Okay. So we have a flower here. Yes. And we're gonna try and freeze this and we're gonna see what happens to it when we freeze it. Oh, I can't wait to see what happens to it, actually. Is it gonna right. grow bigger? Is it gonna go smaller? Who knows? We're gonna find out, aren't we, kids? Actually, you know what? You can do something on this one. Oh, I'm excited. So I'll give you these gloves. Yes. That you can stick on at some point and these yes. safety goggles. All right, I'm getting, I'm becoming a scientist. The longer I stand next to you, Robbie, the closer I am to becoming a scientist. It's rubbing off on you. It is. 
All right, got my gloves, got my goggles. All right, so Ozzy's gonna give me a hand with this one, so. Perfect. We're gonna freeze this flour, we're gonna stick it in our pan here, okay? And we're gonna pour some liquid nitrogen on it. Oh, that looks, that looks pretty cool. Let it cool down. A lot of bubbling happening in there, Robbie. There he is. Is it cooking it? What we're gonna do, if you can hold your hands out for me, Ozzy. We're gonna drop some of these in there. We're gonna stick that in there as well. Yeah, that, that feels really crusty. And we're gonna stick one more in there. And do you wanna give them a nice big clap? You want me to clap the flour? Clap. What just happened to the flour? It popped. <laughs> That's the end of the flour there. So we've, we've frozen it, it's become super hard, and then you can just crush it. Yep. Wow. This liquid nitrogen stuff is super fun. It's so much fun, Robbie, that I'd love to get some for myself and do uh, some of these experiments at home. Can you do that? Well, it would be pretty hard to get for yourself. That's okay. why you come here, watch us do it. Okay, and where do you actually get liquid nitrogen? Well, we make this one ourselves here at the university. You make it? Yeah. It's incredible. To make it, we just take the air, because the air is mostly nitrogen. Okay. And we cool the air down, we put a whole bunch of pressure on it, we push down on it, and all that nitrogen in the air turns into liquid nitrogen for us to do cool experiments with. It is very, very cool. Now, I have noticed one more thing. You've got a leaf sitting over here. I do have a leaf. Are we going to do the same thing as we did to the flower? We sure are. Oh, I can't wait. So let's dip our leaf into our liquid nitrogen oh, here. Oh, yeah, dip it in, okay. Are we gonna let it freeze the whole leaf? Oh. And I'll stick this one in your hands, and you can give us a nice no big way. Check clap. that out. You can see how hard it is. All right, so I'm going to clap it, and we'll see what happens, kids. <laughs> so it's broken apart. It's shattered like a like a, a light bulb or something like glass. It's just absolutely shattered in my hand. It sure has. Now, Robbie, I just want to say thank you so much for allowing Ozzy and the kids to come in and check out all these amazing experiments. No worries. It was a pleasure having you guys here. Yeah, what a cool job you have. I'll tell you what, maybe I'm going to go back one day and restudy and become a scientist. Kids, hopefully this has inspired you to come along and check out these experiments firsthand at Science Space. I hope you've had lots of fun. I hope you've learned lots. We'll see you on our next video. Until then, stay keen. Keep experimenting. Keep having fun. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of.